everyone, I'm Rakshit Naresh, I'm the product manager for Cold Fusion. Today I'll be talking to you about the roadmap for Cold Fusion, also giving you a sense of the future directions of product of, of Cold Fusion uh, from Adobe. So this is a quick release plan for Cold Fusion going forward. In 2012, we had Cold Fusion 10 coming out. Uh, we recently had Cold Fusion 10 on the cloud. Cold Fusion Splendor is the code name for the next major version of Cold Fusion. Dazzle is the code name for the version after that. This is a support timeline for Cold Fusion. Uh, we have Splendor and Dazzle. With typically with every release of Cold Fusion, we have five years of core support for the product and two years of extended support. So for both Splendor and Dazzle, we are looking at support beyond 2020, and that is a long-term commitment from Adobe towards Cold Fusion. What you see out there is a release history and impact that every release made right from Cold Fusion 1 till Cold Fusion 10. Going forward, we are planning to reduce the release cycles between various versions, as a result of which you'll see much more frequent releases of Cold Fusion, and hopefully with that, we'll be able to make a net large impact to frequent releases and then make a bigger impact eventually. This is mostly because of the technology space that we are in. The web world keeps changing quite a bit every now and then. And as a result of that, we need to create those regular impacts. And that's one of the reasons why we have reduced the release cycle. Uh, the next, this slide is all about the areas that define the web world today. As a result of which, there are quite a lot of challenges that web developers will face. This is all around mobile, social, cloud, video, big data, and digital marketing. What I'll do now is quickly talk to you about these areas, as well as the challenges that these areas bring up, and how the future version of Cold Fusion is going to handle that. This slide talks about the various numbers for smartphones versus personal computers. As you can see in this slide, the number of personal computers has already outsmarted. The number of personal computers is outsmarted by the number of smartphones and tablets. And by 2015, you'll see that the number of tablets themselves will outsmart the number of personal computers. So it's not just the sheer number of smartphones or tablets. Even the content consumption has definitely moved towards mobile devices as a result of which much of the web applications today are taking the mobile first approach. So they first build it for a mobile device and then go ahead and port it to a desktop device, uh, to a desktop. So one of the issues that we see today is we don't have an end-to-end -end workflow for a mobile development platform and that is where we envision the next version of Cold Fusion to be. So in Splendor, which is the next major version, we are looking to build a unique end-to-end -end mobile application development platform that will let you build, test, debug, and deploy. You'll be able to use Cold Fusion Builder to, and use your existing CFML skills to build uh, mobile applications. You'll also be able to test, debug, deploy all of these through Cold Fusion Builder. And our idea is to extend the month, CF mantra of being able to easy, easily use the technology and hard things made easy to mobile application development as well. We are pretty excited about the directions that you're taking in, this, in, the, in the mobile space. And we are pretty sure that you will also have enough interest in mobile application development uh, using Cold Fusion. And we'll also focus on enterprise mobility focused on performance, scalability, and security. The next area that we are looking at is social. As most of us know, much of the time online is being spent on social media sites and social is changing the way enterprises engage with their customers. And that's an interesting quote from Gartner, which says that many of the Gartner's customers today are planning to use the identities that are created on social media for registration and authentication systems into their enterprise systems. So this is definitely a trend. And we want to solve that particular problem for integrating with social identities. So in the next version of Cold Fusion, we'll have support for OAuth to login via Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. We'll also have social elements through which through Facebook and Twitter widgets. These will be available as custom tags, ready to use, and most of the web applications today have some sort of an integration with social media. So we'll be focusing on that and easing that particular integration with social media through Facebook and Twitter widgets. The cloud in Cold Fusion is the next focus area. We already have the Amazon EC2 offering that we released with Cold Fusion 10. With the next version of uh, Cold Fusion, which is Splendor, we'll have not just an IaaS offering, we'll also have platform as a service offering by partnering with one of the platform as a service providers. 
Security continues to be extremely important for us. We'll continue to focus on security both in Splendor and Dazzle. We'll focus on the top 10 threats listed down by OWASP, which is a popular open source security project. Uh, they have listed down the top 10 threats to the web and top 10 threats to mobile. So we'll be focusing on addressing each of these through built-in features so that our customers can prevent against each of these threats, both in the web world as well as in the mobile world. This is just a quick snapshot of what's coming up in Splendor. In Splendor, we'll be focusing on the verticals of mobile, cloud, and social that we just saw, end-to-end -end workflow, AWS and platform as a service offering, auth to login. We'll also have some of the horizontals on performance, security. PDF integration is going to improve quite a bit with Splendor because we, we are revamping the underlying engine as a result of which the quality of PDF that will be generated out of HTML5 will be much better. It's not just creating PDFs even PDF manipulation will have much better capabilities in Splendor. We'll continue to make enhancements to existing features, language and HTML5 continue to be our focus areas. Going forward in Dazzle, we'll continue to focus on mobile. We'll have video, big data and digital marketing focus uh, in Dazzle. And at this point, I would like to quickly point out that we have a, a public facing roadmap that's available on the product page. So what I gave you was a quick sense of where we are heading. So if you want more a detailed understanding of where we are planning to go, uh, click, click on the roadmap link out here in the Adobe, on the adobe.com for the ColdFusion product page. It'll show up a public facing roadmap that lists down uh, various focus areas for Splendor. Uh, Thunder is, an ex is a code name for the next version of Builder, ColdFusion on the cloud, and uh, we'll also have uh, one for Dazzle and the long-term commitment from Adobe. So with that, I come to the end of my presentation. Uh, thanks everyone for all the support. Look forward to working with you uh, with the future versions of the product. Thanks.